New York, the 1940s. While our troops push back the enemy overseas, back home the boys in blue are doing their best to keep the streets safe. Good work, Officer Friendly. But not all is well in the Big Apple. Murders afoot. But fear not, citizens. Ace Detective Rex Manning is on the job in the case of the bicycle killer Caper. What do we got, Smithy? Same as all the others, Rexy boy. Rich geezer, flash car, head bashed in, and then run over by a bicycle. Tell me something, Smithy. How many does that make now? Four by my reckoning. No doubt about it. We got a serial killer on our hands. I don't get it, Rexy boy. Why run over them with a bicycle? Well, that's up to us to find out, Smithy. Bag and tag this guy and get him in the meat wagon. I'll meet you back at the station. Rain's coming. Drive safe, yeah? You got it, Rexy boy. I was running out of time to catch this killer, but I always was a sucker for a Damon need. Call it my one weakness. Along with bullets, of course. <laughs> Detective Frank's Manning, ma'am, how can I help? Oh, thank goodness, a police officer. My bicycle has a flat tire and I don't know what to do. Don't flip your lid, toots. I'll give you a lift. Are you sure, sir? I don't want to be a bother. It's no beef, sweetheart. Hop in. <sighs> Gee, thanks. I woke up in a dark room feeling like I'd had one too many the night before. A feeling I'm not unaccustomed to. Only this time there was no good looking broad lying next to me. Instead I was tied to a chair with a pretty girl who just knocked my lights out. Detective Rex Manning. It's nice to meet you. My name's Elizabeth. Ah, uh, if you wanted a date, Tuts, all you had to do was ask. I'd have bought you flowers. Don't flatter yourself. Like I'd go for a flat foot like you. Well, there's no need to get personal there, doll. So you must be the bicycle killer I've been tracking. What's the matter? Get scared I was closing in on you? You weren't closing in on me. You invited me into your car, knucklehead. Well, maybe that's what I wanted you to think. So tell me something, why am I still alive, sweet cheeks? I need you off my back, but you don't deserve to go out like the others. Well, that's real nasty, I guess. So give me the scoop. Why are you doing this? A few years ago, my parents were killed by a rich guy in a fancy car. Police never found the guy, so now I'm going to kill them all. Well, that's a bomb rap, Lizzie. I guess riding your bicycle over them is some sort of poetic justice then? You could say that. Now, it's time for you to die. Any last words, Rexy boy? Sure thing, girlie. Tell me something, is this your first kidnapping? Mm-hmm. Is that obvious? I'm afraid so, my dear. For one thing, you forgot to check me for weapons. Oh, I have your weapon. Sure, you have my service weapon, but a good detective always has an ace up his sleeve. And so the case was closed. Good work, boys. Come back next time, folks, for more thrilling adventures. <laughs>